So you want to make money with your video game. All right, let's talk about four ways to do that using GDevelop. Beginning with the tried and true, premium games. Ever since video games left the arcade and came into the home, you've been able to buy premium games, where the game is put up in a storefront and sold for a set price. With GDevelop, whether you're creating a mobile game or one for desktop, you can export your game and upload it to whatever storefront you want, like itch.io, Game Jolt, Humble Bundle, or like the game Swirl Watch being developed by Sleeper Games, you can upload your game to Steam. Steam does have an upfront fee for creating your store page and it requires some extra steps because you'll want to include things like Steam achievements, but Steam's large user base makes it worth the effort. And even if you're developing a mobile game, you can still do this. The majority of mobile games have ads and in-app purchases, but you can get a Google Developer account for a one-time small fee, and afterwards freely upload your games to the platform to sell as premium games. Or you can put ads in your game, like this game from Frolic Studio. At this point, ads within mobile games is a commonly accepted practice. And a lot of users might even be happy about the ads if they're woven into the game properly. With GDevelop, integrating ads into your mobile game is really straightforward. You just create an AdMob account, add your app to the account, pick what kinds of ads you want, go to your game, and then use the right actions to load and then display your ad. Then you set up your payment information and start making money. There are a few more steps in between, but there's a helpful tutorial on the GDevelop wiki for that. Side note, do not watch or click on your own ads. That is a great way to get yourself in trouble. Instead, with GDevelop, use this action to change your game to test mode in that scene, so you don't get yourself in trouble. Speaking of ads, the third method is uploading your game to a hosting platform that has their own ads. Like this game, Ball Challenge 2, that's being hosted on Crazy Games. This is actually a great deal for the hosting platform and the game developers because it means that one doesn't succeed without the other. These sites give developers of web games a share of the earnings from ads, based on how well their games are performing on the site. There are lots of websites out there that do this, but two examples are Game Jolt and Crazy Games. And the fourth way we're going to talk about in this video to earn money with your video game is with in-app purchases. Like ads, if these are properly woven into the game, users can be really happy to have the option to spend a little more money on a game they enjoy. And again, in GDevelop, it's not hard to set this up. You install the extension, create the product that you want to sell, register your product in your game using the action register an item, and then decide how you want purchases to work in your game. This is a fairly new extension in GDevelop, but just like everything else, there's a wiki page for that too. There are lots of other ways to earn money with game development, and GDevelop is working towards making it even easier to monetize your game in the future. But these four are the most straightforward ways to go about earning money with your game. Now if you would like to learn some tools that'll make it faster to make games in GDevelop, check out this video for the top 10 extensions in GDevelop.